Hello, my name's Hilary Eden and I'm a pharmacist with over 20 years experience working for the NHS in the UK. Welcome to Hills Pills. In these videos, I'm going to provide you with some useful information about medicines that have been prescribed for you by your doctor. In this video, I'm going to talk about Ramipril. Ramipril is an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, but most people just call it an ACE inhibitor. It works by relaxing your blood vessels and making it easier for your heart to pump your blood around your body and reducing your blood pressure. So Ramipril can be prescribed for several different conditions. It can be prescribed to treat high blood pressure or hypertension. It can be prescribed for heart failure when your heart is struggling to pump the blood around your body. It can be prescribed if you had a heart attack or a myocardial infarction that's left you with a degree of heart failure. It can be prescribed to prevent or reduce the likelihood or risk of kidney problems. And it can also be prescribed to prevent or reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Ramipril is quite easy to take. You can take it usually once a day in the morning. Try and take it at the same time each day. Don't chew the capsules or tablets, swallow them whole with water. Sometimes if you're started off on Ramipril, the do doctor may adjust the dose of other medicines such as diuretics that you're taking while you get used to the effects of the Ramipril. And then after a while, the, both your medicines can be increased back to their normal doses and taken together. Also, sometimes when you're starting Ramipril, it might make you feel a bit lightheaded. And so although you'd usually take the dose in the morning, sometimes it might be a better, better idea or you might be advised to take your first couple of doses in the evening when you're about to go to bed. And then obviously if you're feeling a bit lightheaded lying down in bed, that doesn't matter so much. The usual dose of Ramipril is 1.25 milligrams to 10 milligrams. And as I said, that's usually taken once a day. Usually you'll start off on a lower dose, 1.25 or 2.5 milligrams, and your doctor will gradually increase the dose up to the maximum of 10 milligrams. It's usually taken once a day, but sometimes if you're taking a higher dose, your doctor might recommend you split that and take it in two doses, one in the morning and one in the evening. There are a couple of other things I need to let you know about Ramipril. You could get allergic reactions to it. So if you get a sudden onset of shortness of breath, swelling of the mouth, mouth throat, or neck, or severe skin rashes, you may be having an allergic reaction and you should stop the Ramipril and go back to your doctor. Ramipril can also cause a particular kind of allergic reaction called angioedema. That's very similar to the other allergic reaction with swelling of your mouth, throat, and may possibly around your eyes, but you also get an intense itching and when you scratch, you get red wheels appearing on the skin. You also may get red marks on your hands and feet. Again, if you get this kind of allergic reaction, you need to stop taking the Ramipril and go back and see your doctor. Ramipril also interacts with a number of other drugs. The most important one to let you about, let you know about is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, so drugs like ibuprofen. These can reduce the effectiveness of Ramipril, and so you should try and avoid taking them while you're taking Ramipril. There's also some dr other drug interactions. So if you're being treated by a doctor, always let them know that you're taking Ram Ramipril so that they can check to make sure there's no interactions with anything else they might want to prescribe. Like all drugs, Ramipril does have some side effects. The common ones, those that affect about one in 10 people, include headache, sometimes abdominal pain, constipation, nausea or vomiting. You might get chest pain, you can get a skin rash, you might get muscle aches and pains as well. And you might feel quite lightheaded or a bit dizzy. And also there's a particular side effect of ACE inhibitors, which is a tickly dry cough. That's quite common and it's commonly known by doctors as the ACE inhibitor cough. 
you don't need to stop ramipril necessarily if you get any side effects and some of them will get better with time but people do find the cough very annoying and often your doctor might be able to swap you onto another ACE inhibitor that doesn't cause the same amount of cough. So that's worth mentioning to your doctor if you're finding the cough annoying. The final thing I need to tell you with Ramipril is about driving and alcohol. It shouldn't make you feel drowsy, but it might make you feel quite dizzy and lightheaded. So if that does occur, just be very careful with driving or operating machinery. You don't have to avoid alcohol altogether while you're taking Ramipril, but do be aware that the combined effects of Ramipril and the alcohol can make you feel very lightheaded and dizzy, so just be aware of that. I hope this information has been helpful. For more detailed information about Ramipril, please read the patient information leaflet that was prescribed with the Ramipril when it was dispensed by your pharmacist. If you don't have a copy of this leaflet, you can download another one from www.medicines.org.uk. Please also visit my website www.hillspills.com where you can find other information videos about medicines that you have been prescribed by your doctor. Thank you.